It's a beautiful day. It's Tuesday and we are grateful to God for life. Welcome and brought to another edition of Spring Trends right here on Western Spring Television where we say it as it is. On Spring Trends we'll look at everything that is trending. Some of the stories that is trending I should say not everything because uh, we do not have all the time to take everything that is trending. And you know that stories trend per hour, per minute, per day, per week. So there are lots of stories trending. But then we look at the critical ones and talk about it right here. What's trending, who's trending, why they are trending, and reactions on social media. My name is Evelyn Ohiola. And uh, Femi Ojo yeah. is here. I welcome, am. Femi. Thank you I, very I, I, much. I was tempted to say welcome back to work, but then I remember that, um, you know, <laughs> we have there, been was, here. There, there was no holidays <laughs> for us. <laughs> but then to um, our distinguished viewers from uh, the world, uh, watching us from all around the world, mm. uh, welcome back to work. Yeah. All right, our very first story this morning. We hear that there was an explosion at Nigerian Army's Ikeja Cantonment and uh, military has begun investigation. Uh, that's what is happening at this time. But reactions very quickly. Peter B. Uh, at its Paul Daniel says, one will always wonder what's going on in Nigeria, that a military barrack, probably one of the most secure places in Nigeria, has been attacked this much and uh, Cletus underscore inform says oh my god another explosion the other one sometime years back at that Ikeja cantonment is still lingering in our memories and ex-boy 10 says again in 2024 god save us uh, this is not um, a good story i should say especially with uh, in a location that is con that, that is considered as uh, somewhere that's supposed to be very secured yeah. you know you know military cantonment in Ikeja and this is not the first time it's happening mm. tell me your thoughts it, it, it's uh, by, by the way i think we have to really take a chill pill a bit let's confirm if it's an attack or just some explosives that went off or the yeah. you know if this thing has happened yesterday you know possibly earlier in the day people would have thought it was april full prank or something mm -hmm. or in news because at the mention of Ikeja cantonment um, uh, bomb blast, you know, you can easily pick what happened years ago, you know, with that bomb blast on that very sad night. Yeah. I think it was a Sunday night, although I can remember. Now this happening at this time again. We have to wait for uh, the people or the agencies involved to tell us what really happened. Was there an attack? Because that is going enough. Or the blast of, or a thick sound somewhere, I think because of what we have been used to mm. in the last five, six years, ten years, we just feel every sound that is disturbing is an attack. It might not be. It might be. We have to wait for it. But then is we must do what we have to do to make sure our society is safe. We don't have to put people under undue pressure. Yeah. If there are outdated IEDs or explosives mm. or whatever that are, you know, that are supposed to have been done away with, let them just do that if that is the situation but i think it's quite um, um too early to call it an attack all you know? right especially in nikeja mm. yeah, yeah moving to the next stories on um, that particular story fingers crossed um, as to um, what the updates we are going to get uh, from that uh, story but um moving on we hear that the authorities of the university of ilorin kwara state have expelled five students and rusticated 14 others for malpractice. Now, the, among the sanctioned students were six final year students. This is sad. Now, the university's director of corporate affairs, Kunle Akogun, said in a statement on Monday that the expulsion of the 19 students were found guilty of various offenses such as misconduct, theft, examination malpractice, hostile bed space racketeering and extortion, beating a fellow student, admission racketeering, extortion, and assault so uh, let's just take reactions of uh, people on social media rita eng 1234 says it is very disgusting knowing that you are being led by criminals who steal in billions yet only petty thieves gets the wrath of the law nigeria my country i hail and ayila says expelled for bed space rocket tearing really surprised me and Oseni Aziz Owolabi says the final year will be the saddest. Imagine you spent lots of money from 100 level till final year and school is very costly now. Fermi, what do you 
think because um, for me i'm i'm an advocate of um, actions have consequences yeah. now another discussion is whether these consequences tally with the action you yeah. know that was done because bed space racketeering i mean yes it's bad but i think probably i don't know but then your thoughts <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't like a Bwari government that didn't want to remove subsidy that passed it on to the Tunisian government you know um yeah actions have consequences and good deeds should have rewards as well you know that's it but then the um, racketeering it's a bad thing enough that's people making sharp gains due to you know uh, the prevailing circumstances in any situation but then if because of racketeering is enough to terminate somebody's studentship status is another kettle of fish yeah if there is a law to that in that school it's a different thing to say um i didn't know the ignorance or whatever but if you know like the school i went to especially in the early years of that school it was said that anybody involved in examination by practice you are going home mm. it's as simple now if it's commensurate is another thing you can say like that person forfeit that semester or forfeit that course because that's what's done in some places yeah. Or you automatically have an extra semester yeah but in that school because they they don't want people to even think about it you know anything that makes it makes you to be caught and it was confirmed that yes you are involved mm. just go to the hostel pack your stuff and go out you are no more um uh, a, a student, student of that school but later i remember towards the my final year it was relaxed a bit to say mm. whenever you are caught you are forfeiting the whole of, of the, the semester session. so that person on that particular semester, semester. Okay. so that person has the opportunity to give it a shoot again that is after going through some embarrassing stuff by the way to make you to know that what you have done is bad enough but if there is that law in that school and you know even if you don't know you know they will tell you your student handbook those mm. things are there if you read or not it's another kettle of fish yeah, yeah. but then it's not just about the racketeering I think violence or some things are involved Beating in some persons case. Beating you know, you and all you should, that. Let's see here. Don't let's explain bad habits yeah. away. We have reformative approach to things. I know that one. But don't let's uh, uh, explain. Somebody made a tweet and said the big guys are stealing billions. Mm. It's only petty guys that are. Do, it's bad enough that those ones are stealing and it's bad and we are hoping they will be caught someday. Yeah. But the ones don't explain it away. You know, as much somebody is stealing billions. If I tell five men I'm not a thief, Oga, you be thief, and you should not be doing that. Now, if we are going to reform you, it's another conversation already. Mm -hmm. Don't let explain away bad habits because somebody else is doing something worse. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's good. I, I, I think I would go with you. Yeah. And that tweet actually reminds me of Africa China song mm. that says, uh, 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 "Poor man that still Maggie." Or mm. still seasoning rather they will they will, exactly for rich man was the billion mm. they won't show his mm. face but that this also speaks to um when we say actions have consequences yeah. it should be across board because i also know of staff members mm. in different schools that mm. also do this um racketeering yeah. for admission racketeering mm. Mm. bed space yeah, racket, hostel rac exactly what what are the, the consequences border, to these actions yeah. are they caught and when they are That's caught uh, are they total. sent home yeah. to like the students but then if any student is watching right now or anybody not yeah. just student anybody mm. you should know that actions have consequences mm -hmm. and you should be ready to test the consequences mm. when they come mm. uh, i mean that's just it moving on to my next story yesterday was april 1 and in different quarters even in this establishment we had uh, people pulling pranks even on this table <laughs> <laughs> don't go too far i didn't want to say that <laughs> you did it <laughs> <laughs> i was hoping to actually skip that part no, you can't talk. but then a lot of people pulling pranks mm. on their friends their loved ones on their bosses mm. and we even had pranks pulled on twitter space i remember mm. someone said the naira has dropped to 660 naira mm. and you could see people actually commenting on their street but this yeah. one here um Federal government mandates DNA test for newborns uh, nationwide. Oh. And, uh, okay, reaction? This was it. I strongly believe this has to be an April Fool news ah. from Instock Blog, since no other news portal or blog has reported it. That said, if at all the news is true, then it's a welcome development long overdue. But both <laughs> paternity and maternity DNA tests should be conducted to not just eliminate paternity fraud, but also to stop baby swapping, swapping in yeah. hospitals. 
Now, a major constraint here is money. Unless the government makes it free for everyone, I yeah. doubt this will be taken seriously. DNA is expensive. Nigerians yeah. who are looking for money to feed themselves cannot mm. afford DNA tests, which cost more than the monthly minimum wage. Mm. Hope this helps. And um, wrote to Rich Auntie says, very good. Growing up, I used to think married women do not cheat, that only the men does. But with the news of paternity fraud everywhere, I was actually delusional. And I should state here that cheating is not gender-based. Men cheat, women cheat. So far, you're a human being. Human being and cheat. cheating is a choice. So if you choose to, ah. you do it. And uh, Tessie says, if the federal government mandates DNA tests for newborns nationwide, that means another chapter for serious husband and wife problems depending on the result. The Nigeria FG will now budget 100 trillion naira for <laughs> DNA tests every year. But uh, that particular report by Instablog actually was a prank pulled yeah. on via followers. And uh, like I said, we had a lot of people also pull <laughs> pranks on social media. But then yeah. from that to our next story, let me just, you know, put it up together. Uh, we actually have a case of paternity fraud. You know, we just talked about um, this prank pulled by Instablog saying yeah. that, you know, a federal government mandates DNA test for uh, 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 new bonds. Now, a Nigerian man, Kola Olarewaj, discovered that none of his four children belong to him after 16 years of marriage. The children are aged 16, 12, 8, and 5 years old. What is your take on this? And on X, communicator said this is supposed to be a crime to be punished for. And Lagbaja Twitter says there is no excuse for cheating on your husband since, as a woman, you are the carrier of babies. If you are not happy in your marriage for any reason, Walk away. It is better than cheating. Your staying means you agree to continue to be his wife and you have no right to cheat. And uh, Ronnie says, that's a business. Any child that came out of my marriage is mine, DNA or not. As long as I am taking good care of those kids and they are calling me dad, that is all that matters. Yeah, and, I and I think um, we add uh, someone also respond uh, to this saying that it doesn't matter whether or not you are biologically the dad of uh, the father of these kids, so far they were born in your home, you have been catering for them, then you have a right to call them your children, <laughs> and they also have to, uh, the right to call you uh, a father. What are your thoughts? Interesting. <laughs> Firstly, on uh, if federal government mandates DNA tests for newborns, uh, uh, I, I want your take on that, and also yeah, on this, this matter. This particular sound of social media, uh, 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 skit makers usually use it whenever mm. something's up. They will say, dead body goes surplus. <laughs> <laughs> if you find out government, they do that. Yeah. Man, well, it speaks to where we have found ourselves. Mm. Human beings cheat. Let's just put it that yeah, way. Yeah, human beings They're cheat. men or women. But, you know, because of the adventurous nature of men and the way they go about it, you will always see the men as um, the main people who do these that's why I said the adventurous part of them. And many of them even brag with it. Yeah. Because it's a bad behavior, but to say they see it like a game. I'm a man. That's, yeah, that's like, I'm a man. Like that's what my gen that's how I was wired, by mm. the way. I'm not sure anybody was wired. I don't know who did the, the electrical the wiring works. Bit, <laughs> by the way. But it's not a bad thing, only that yeah. it should be too expensive. The last time I checked, almost three, four years ago, it's it's not less than hundred K. At least I'm sure. It's as skyrocketed, I don't know. Now Many persons will say this idea of, um, you know, paternity fraud is not new. Maybe social media is just making people to be more aware, aware yeah. you know. You know, we are joking one day. Do you know if actually 30, 40, 50 years ago, if this DNA thing was taken far back and say every child should come and do DNA with their fathers, many firstborns will not be their father's Where they claim child. father's inheritance. <laughs> you know, go get nothing because not be their papa boy. Yeah. <laughs> These are the issues now. But it, it's not a joke. We should behave. If you have issues... And, but then let's just take it to this last tweet. 16 year old marriage, at least. At least, tell me together. We don't know if they are married or not. Yeah. 16, um, 12, 8, eight and, and four. 4. And all of them, are, they didn't belong to the man. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I want to think maybe they have done it again. If you have not done, let them repeat it. Second opinion, third opinion, because that's too much. It's not explainable. That means there is a side something somewhere. I don't want to say it of our language, who has constantly been there. We don't know if it's only a man, I mean, another single person that fathered the four biologically, but four children, 
Is that explainable? Mm. How will you, even if the man is the important one yeah. in this particular case, because there are situations like that. Now you have to go out four times. Now let's ask, because this thing comes with different fangs at times. Is there a problem with the man? Is the man aware? Is there an arrangement we've seen, we've watched, we've read before? Yeah. Like the man we have an arrangement with the woman, mm. and all of a sudden, he, his ego cannot take it again. He will now pour everything on, on the, the woman. woman yeah. And the woman will not be able to come out and say, We did it with her. Um, I, I did it with like his consent. Like there was consent, yeah, yeah, with you. But if that is not the case, how do you. This thing is enough to get some persons, you know, mentally affected. How, you can't process it. Four children. At once, you are not looking at them. They don't belong to Mr. Ajale Koko. They belong to whoever you don't even know. How can the woman even explain? But then somebody said, in as much as the one that has been fathering them, mm. all this why. You just take, go ahead to be the father. But the thing is, you don't know if somebody will come later in life when you think you have children, and they will come and lay claim on those children. And then there will be needless war needless battle mm. that are being fought. I probably just has to adopt those kids. I mean, do the paperwork, do the legal work. Maybe that's an angle to it as yeah. well. Who could adopt them? But where does a man start? 16 years. By the way, that marriage is over. There's not a call marriage again. Don't say that. There, can, there okay. are second chances. I mean, people get second chances. Is that second chances. chances or fourth chances? It doesn't matter. People get second chances. And also, if they are know, watching us, don't be involved, please. A forgiving partner mm. can say, I let go of all that you have done to me. Interesting. And I forgive you. Just mm. ensure you don't do it again. I mean, in the so spirit that of is, Easter. In the spirit of Easter. <laughs> So that's where we ah! draw the curtain on the, the show this morning uh, <laughs> on Spring Trends. Thank you for being a part of our world. Thank right. you so much, Femi, for being a part of this show. We'll make a return tomorrow. 8.30 is the call time. Until then, have for yourself a good and fruitful day. My name is Evelyn Ohiola. Bye. Bye-bye.